Hello, boys and girls. Decided to start a new series. And as you can see in the title, it's a WTF series. Been working on this 2014 Dodge Ram. This is the six cylinder, 1500 long horn diesel 3.0. Doing a bunch of stuff, rear brakes, front brakes, control arms in the front, lower, upper, and rear shocks. And that's where the WTF comes in. I've done the other side. It's very similar, well, obviously, but uh, the other side does not have the fuel tank and the fuel neck right here. There is, so there's a, a bit more room over here and a lot of room well, when I say a lot, more than this. Here, there's half an inch of room. You, you cannot fit anything in here. Uh, so, and the problem is this top bolt right here. There's a nut on the other side. And the nut is... Well, too bad I can't show you. And you probably won't be able to see what on the other side anyways I'm gonna kind of try to uh, draw it out for you the problem is getting a hold of the nut that's in the back it's actually if you look at it from let's say you're looking at it from this side the bolt comes out and there is part of the frame or the bracket this that continues back there it's, it goes up actually. So the nut is right here. So how do you put a socket on it? You know, it's gonna be, it's angled. It's gonna, you know, the only way you can put a socket on it, it's like this. And that's what I've done on the other side using this. It's a 21, uh, 12 point, uh, six point will probably not work. I'm only talking about the right side right now. And on an extension with a ratchet, I, was able to grab a hold of it and it actually grabbed it like this and that's how it came out luckily here we go luckily for me it came out like that and because it came out well I can't put it on any further because the part of the bracket is right right over here but it came out and you know it's fine I thought I was thinking of making uh, starting that <laughs> making the video right then, but I thought it wasn't that bad. Once I figured it out, it's okay. Now, but now this side I can't do the same way because of the fuel tank. This doesn't really, you know, it's just a little bit less room. But this is these lines are okay. It's the tank that's in the way. So what the hell do I do? I cannot fit a regular uh, 21 wrench because there's just not enough room. You can see. You know, no way that's gonna work. Try this, this funny ratchet with this kind of extension that swivels a little bit. So I thought, okay, I'm gonna just go in like this, you know, towards the back to front and then angle this socket so it would be like that. They don't work. Try it for maybe 10 minutes. All I'm doing, and then using a gun on the bolt all i was doing is slowly stripping the socket and the nut just wasn't on all the way or not even close to so for the socket to grab it so what do you do at this point so then i thought okay i gotta put a wrench on it with the open end so i'm gonna have to cut a one of my 21 wrenches right cut it right about here somewhere and just put it on top and try to grab a hold of it like that. But then I thought, if I come to this problem ever again, let's do a universal tool. So I cut an adjustable wrench, like this one, it goes up to a little, little over 21. And I'm gonna try taking it off right now. All right.
I'm not gonna make this tight. Just need to for it to get on and stay there. Let's try this again. Yeah, you saw that. Compressor kicked in. Anyway, this is what came out. It is a bit stripped. Nothing serious. It's going back on. To put it back on without even holding the nut, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean the threads on this bolt and lubricate it a little bit so it's nice and slippy. And all I'm gonna do is just hold it, hold the nut with my finger fingers and it should go on and now I have a new special tool and this isn't 1920 Dodge WTF solution captive nut that's it weld this on the other side so whenever I come across something stupid like this I am from now on I am gonna be doing a WTF video every time I come across something ridiculously stupid and easy to fix like this alright guys that is it Thanks for watching. See ya.